Hi, my name is Samuel James Price, and every single day I go over the news, three to five minute segment that kind of gives you the awesomest things that are happening in crypto and the coolest things that are happening. Don't mind my hair. It's ridiculous today with the humidity. It's just getting kind of fluffy, and I got to get a haircut. The PayPal USD will be pegged to the US dollar and issued by Paxos. The PayPal what? The huh? That's what you just heard exactly. PayPal coming out with a stable coin. The Ethereum-based token will soon be available to PayPal users in the U.S. And it's the first time a major financial company is issuing its own stable coin. Users can transfer PUSD between PayPal and supported external wallets, fund goods and service purchases, or convert to any PayPal-supported cryptocurrencies to and from the PUSD. PayPal said the stablecoin will be available to an already large and growing community of external developers, wallets, and Web3 applications and can easily be adopted by crypto exchanges. Wow. You're going to actually have it on the crypto exchange? That's going to be pretty interesting too as well. PYUSD. Paul's working on stablecoin back in February, but they came back. The shift towards digital currencies requires a stable instrument that is both digitally native and easily connected to fiat currency like the US dollar. Dude, Danny Shulman coming hard. This is big for crypto. This tells everyone that blockchain is superior to the legacy financial system. Because why would they have to make a stable coin if it was working fine the way it was? It wasn't. We need a new way to do things. Blockchain brings that, and I'm excited. That's a big deal. We already talked about that in the live stream again, but that's huge. WorldCoin Nairobi warehouse raided by Kenyan police. The project failed to reveal its true intentions when it registered in the country. We knew this. Kenyan police raided the Nairobi warehouse of the WorldCoin, confiscating documents and machines. Immaculate Kassit, the commissioner of the Kenya's office, imagine being named Immaculate, what a name, of the data production said Tools for Humanity. The parent company of WorldCoin failed to disclose its true intentions when it registered in Kenya, according to the media reports. We told you this thing was the shadiest thing on earth. We told you it was a scam. We told you to stay away from it. They went into this, you know, undeveloped country, Kenya, tried to get behind the scenes Man, WorldCoin was co-founded by Sam Altman, the tech entrepreneur who is the CEO of OpenAI, the company behind the popular chat GPT. WorldCoin aims to promulgate a new way to verify that a user is human and unique on the internet using iris scans. Dude, uh, man. The raid was reported to be conducted under the Quisit supervision. A representative of the official last week, the Ministry of Interior suspended the project operations. This is getting shadier. We could probably spend a whole day on this. What is going on? WorldCoin, why are you so shady? weird monetary authority of singapore commits funding for fintech innovation including web3 the monetary authority of singapore has committed funding among other things to support the fintech innovation and this is news but it's not really news singapore has been amazing singapore has been the place this has been going on lately won't close singapore has been the place where innovation is really people are flocking to and i believe they could become one of the world's richest cities because they continue to get things done and they continue to bring in Smart, progressive people that want to innovate. And Republican McHenry pushes for stablecoin bill following PayPal move. House Financial Services Committee Chair Patrick T. McHenry underscored the need to pass legislation to regulate stablecoins. He said, hey, now PayPal's coming out. They got to do something. We need regulatory clarity and we need it now. So that's some awesome news for you. Hope you're excited for that.